and welcome back. It's testing time. So I have three Poly6 con contact board and membrane assemblies already set up. Uh, one of which, the one that's currently plugged in, was recontacted using Bob Weigel's The Synth Doctrine's um, self-adhesive pads. And as you can see, um, not to waste any uh, possibilities, I actually I put new pads on every single one of them. And uh, so that's this one here. We're going to test that shortly. It's plugged in and everything else. Uh, the second board, the contacts on it, I don't know if you can see them, they're silvery. They're silvery because we use silver conductive pen to resurface them. And uh, that's the MG Chemicals silver, uh, silver conductive pen. You can find something similar. Uh, and then this last one was the cheapest and quickest of the bunch, which was the Permatex Rear Window Defogger Repair Kit, which is just a little vial of resin with silver suspended in it, and it comes with its own cute little brush. And if you don't mind your pads looking all coppery, um, then there you go. Uh, so I've done all of these, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do finger testing on each and every pad. So, and we're off to a bad start. I really got to press down to make that one make contact. So this is the self-adhesive pads. Could, it could be that that PCB has a, a problem. We're going we're gonna to find out shortly. And remember, uh, this voice board is all out of tune and not calibrated, so... Oh, it's behaving itself near the upper end. Okay, so we have some intermittents here. Um, lowest lowest group has definitely got a problem. Lowest button there. Highest one here. Okay. You get the idea. Uh, I'm going to stop the film, uh, the camera. I'm going to switch out um, this guy. Oh, dare I do this live? I guess I dare do it live. Okay, so that is disconnected. We're now going over to check out this over here, which is the MG Chemicals Silver conductive pads. Okay. Alright. Well, what do you know? Looks like I'm going to do this all as one as one, uh, one video sequence. Alright, so the silver conductive pen. Problematic, that one. Now, the reason why things are sounding really crappy um, on the synthesizer front, I believe, is the volume pot is, is nasty. Okay. Well... Definitely, uh, I am. Um, I would say that the silver pads uh, worked really, really well. So, I'll take them out, and move on to the cheapest of the lot, which was the window repair, the window heater, the rear window heater repair kit, the defogger, if you want to call it that, or demister defogger. Okay. Plugging that in now. Okay.
Well guys, that was a perfect score. Perfect score for the cheapest and the easiest. Um, right, let's go back here and what we're going to do is, this is the, right, this is the silver and this over here is, okay, alright, this one here has the Bob Weigel pads applied to it. And what I'm going to do is remember those two bottom octaves gave us a whole bunch of trouble before. So I'm just going to take them off and I'm going to replace them with. Yeah, let's do that. This is an example of some AB testing in action. Let's take these pads, which were done with the, the D Mister. Oh, wait a second. No, my friends, this actually was the silver pen. Yeah, this this one here that just did perfect was the silver pen. So, uh, my mistake, um, I thought one was the other and the other was the other. Uh, in fact, what we just saw was that the D-Mister, um, the defogger repair kit, did a, a almost perfect job, but the silver pen did a perfect job, at least as far as it, it worked out with testing. And you see how easy these are to come out and how easy they are to go back in because the, the rubber is so soft on them and the little posts um, are easily pushed into the holes. Not so when you're doing a Juno one. I wouldn't be able to do this with a Juno 106. I'd have to stop the camera because I'd, I'd need both hands and I'd need a pair of pliers or tweezers or whatever to pull the rubber posts through. Okay, so um, what have I done? Yes, okay. Here is the, the board that previously was having problems in this bottom two octaves because I was using contact sticker adhesive discs rather than painting on the silver trace. So let's see what it happens now. Well guys, the jury's in on this one. Um, I'm getting better results from the silver pen than I am from these black contact discs. Let's have a look at those. Make sure I did not mount them incorrectly. See, they don't look incorrectly mounted. Trying to work out if it was a mistake on my part that caused them to be intermittent. But I think it's just to do with if you get a little bit of grease on these or whatever, they cease to be conductive. I think that's probably what it is, uh, which would mean that they're prone to being fouled easily. Um, and the silver one, not so much, apparently. Um, that's just my observation at this point. So I think uh, we've gotten some empirical evidence here in favor of the silver pen. Um, although the rear window defogger kit uh, will certainly do the trick. Let's um, take the silver pen out. Uh, this is not the silver pen. This is the, this is the one that had the adhesive discs. And here is the one that had... Let's look at this again. Yeah, you see how it's kind of a coppery color? Okay, this is the one that was done with the uh, rear demister kit. Alright, we're up to the 10 minute limit here, so I'm going to stop.